You never know who you'll run into at Disneyland. Kobe Bryant. How, how, how cool is it to be you right now? Dude, it's awesome. This is awesome. I mean, I'm in the happiest place on earth. You know, having just won a championship, a bunch of Laker fans here. I mean, this is great. Mickey, right? <laughs> a goofy. Uh, Grumpy. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, it's over now. But, yeah. All you right. know, I'm happy now. Uh, the parade, uh, Wednesday. Why was that so off the hook compared to Laker parades in the past? Well, you know, I think there's just so much um, energy because we had a downtown for seven years. So, so now you just, you just felt like the city was ready to erupt. And, uh, I mean, they just did a fantastic job, though. I mean, I was going into the Coliseum for 95,000, you know, waiting for us as we walk in. I mean, that's just special. Uh, is it fair to say that you played with a chip on your shoulder, these playoffs? Well, yeah, you know, I played with extra motivation, you know, because you, know, you had all the motivation in the world to win it last season, and then to come, come up short. You know, so you have all summer to think about that. That just kind of sits with you. And uh, so we played with the chip on our shoulder from the beginning of the season all the way to the end. How how big would you describe that chip, and where is it now? That chip's gone. It's gone. I didn't even recycle it. I just threw it in the trash. It's done with. If I had never seen you play, Kobe, how would you describe your game? Um, intense. A lot of passion. You know. Um, but I work hard. I mean, I work hard every possession. You know, I don't take time off. I don't take possessions off. I mean, I'll push myself all the way to the limit. Now, the mean face appears to be some, a, a little uh, something you've added to your repertoire. Uh, where, where did that come from? And, and I don't know. You know, it's uh, it was just one of those things. I think it started in Denver. I made a tough shot. And, uh, you know, your emotions just kind of flow out. And then, you know, it just happens. And then, But it was funny to me. And everybody started making a big deal out of this, this face thing. It was like, I don't know. Weird. What was it? Now, after you did it and people brought it to your attention, did you go home and do it in the mirror and look yeah, at it? Yeah, I'll stay in the mirror practicing. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, nah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, you just play and it just happens and it is what it is. How, how about if you if you could take one game and put it in a Kobe Bryant time capsule, what game would it be? It's got to be game five. I mean, that's just one of those things, like, it's, like, even now, sometimes, sometimes I sit at home and I'm like, does this really just happen? Did this happen? Like, do we actually win this thing? You know, so it has to be game five and just the moment where we go back to the bench as a team and we all realize like we're about to be champions. And just that moment is, is so special. Uh, can you give me your all-time starting five? Oh, of all time? All time. Um, Magic at the point. MJ at the two. Um, Larry Bird at the three. Bill Russell at the four. Uh, this, <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> um, Will at the five. And I'm struggling because, you know, Kareem and Will, I mean, it's, they're neck and neck. So. Are you are you sixth man? No, dude, I'm not. I'm nowhere near that stuff, man. You, got, you still got Jerry West. You still got Oscar Robinson. You still got Walt Frazier. You still got Bob Petty. You still got, I mean, it's, the list goes on and on and on. You know, I recently talked to Jerry West, and there's talking about changing the NBA logo, and he said he'd have no problem with that. I have a problem with that. Change the what? I, don't, he, I think Jordan. It, well, for, can't argue that. For, first of all, <laughs> you know, I, I have no problem with that. Um, but I mean, you're growing up. I mean, you're used to seeing Jerry West. You know what I mean with the perfect Hoosier like pose. You know what I mean, Absolutely. handling the ball. So you kind of grow up being used to that. It'd be kind of weird to change. But if you're going to change, MJ's the guy you want to change it to. How about your all-time Lakers starting five? All-time Lakers starting five. Let's see, you got to go with Magic. It's funny because a lot of these players are, are in my five, you know, are in the top ten right. of all time. You're talking about Magic, you're talking about Jerry West, um, Elgin Baylor, um, Kareem, and Will. All right, you're going to run a double center offense? Yeah, that's what we do too, you know, with Powell and Andrew. <laughs> so, right. Hey, the uh, first thing that comes to mind when I say Powell Gasol? Versatility. Lamar Odom. Versatility. Derek Fisher. Clutch. Trevor Ariza. Defensive stopper. Phil Jackson. The greatest. How has he affected your life on and off the basketball Phil? court? Yeah. Well, you know, I think Phil's, uh, he brings a, you know, a philosophical element to our team. I mean, you know, you, everybody knows how Phil and how Phil is and how he's about kind of being in the moment. and. Um, you know, not necessarily coaching X's and O's of the game, but coaching the emotions of the game and how that affects the team. And 
So he's influenced me a great deal because that's the same way I look at the game. And uh, I mean, he basically raised me. So. How do you take that philosophy off the court into your regular life? Well, a lot of it's the same. I mean, it's funny how sports sometimes carries over into life. The same principles apply in terms of your hard work, your dedication, you know, selflessness, commitment, things of that nature. And um, so, you know, the same things that I, that I learned from his teachings are easily applicable to life. How does the dynamic of the Lakers change if he chooses not to come back? Well, first of all, I don't know where all this stuff comes from, you know, with him not coming back. I don't even know where it started. I mean, that's something certainly that he's never said or something that he never really hinted to. Uh, I think he kind of gets a kick out of hearing all, everybody talk like this. Because I mean, everything I've seen is that it'll be back. What do you do this offseason? Nothing. Nothing. Not for a while. You know, just for the standpoint of you know, I've been going hard for two and a half, three years. So it's important to let my body recover, heal up, and, uh, and then go at it hard again. How about when you retire from basketball? What do you do? What do I do? I come be an anchor on SportsCenter. <laughs> My puppet, my puppet already got the head start. Me and LeBron both sitting up there. We got a head start on our careers after basketball. Dude. What what kind of kick do you get out of that puppet? Maybe your kids, especially. It, it's so funny. It's so funny. I mean, they just say some of the most outlandish things. You know, it's and when they first brought the concept to us, you know, we were both just excited about it because the, the potential of it could be you know, something pretty special, and it turned out to be pretty incredible. So, when you do finally call it quits, how many rings do you have? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, some more. You know, but it, it's tough to say that though because you know you, you, you're so fortunate. I'm so fortunate to have four. I mean, truly, I mean, a lot of players never get there in the career, man. And Derek and I both are sitting on four, and uh, been to the finals six times. I mean, it's just, it's very lucky, man. Four and counting, Kobe Bryant. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.